What is up YouTube, Dustin Yui here, back with some more Winnipeg Jets franchise mode. Uh, thanks for clicking and checking out the video. Uh, today we're basically just doing the offseason. Not, not super uh, exciting stuff, but we're going to get into the draft. Uh, we'll do the awards first. Um, we'll take a quick peek at how the AHL did, the, some progression stuff. We'll do the re-sign recap, so I'll just sign everybody, we'll look it over, and then we'll jump into the free agents. All right, let's do it. All right, so Stanley Cup, obviously, Winnipeg Jets, that's us. President's Trophy went to the Montreal Canadiens, who had a pretty pretty solid year. Uh, the Clarence Campbell to us, and the Prince of Wales to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, individual awards, so the Art Ross went to Nate McKinnon. That's the player who had the most points. Uh, Maurice Richard went to uh, Nikita Kucherov. Ted Lindsay went to Nate McKinnon. Frank J. Selke went to Ryan O'Reilly. Jack Adams to... The New York Islanders coach, Bill Masterton to Lindgren on the Rangers, William M. Jennings to UC Saros, Vesna Trophy to Philip Grubauer, we called that one <laughs> at the end of the season, Conn Smythe, Mark Shifley, who ended up in the back of the photo, the Calder Memorial went to, oh, wow, really, Zegras, okay, uh, Lady Bing, Nate McKinnon, James Norris to John Carlson, and the Hart Memorial to Nate McKinnon. All right, so I don't know if anyone was like curious about the uh, the Moose stats, but uh, Cole Perfetti had 72 points in 82 games. He, ha I don't think he's actually progressed at all. Uh, we didn't really have any like a whole lot of like non-progression basically happened. Um, but yeah, Luke Johnson at 57, Gustafson had 56, Tony Nato, Tony Nato, sorry, had 46. They changed how how you say his last name. CJ Suisse at 41, Pogonansky at 40. Um, yeah, I think the Moose had a pretty solid year. Uh, goalies, Mikhail Burton had, uh, was at 31 17 with four OTLs, four shutouts, and Philip de Rosier, 21 wins, nine losses. So he actually played a considerable amount of games there. And then just quick to note, so overall the Manitoba Moose came second in the entire league to the Abbotsford Canucks. I didn't realize they were using that logo. That's interesting. All right, here are the draft lottery results. The The New Jersey Devils stayed first overall. Uh, Ottawa bumped up to second. Vancouver went from second to third, so they just kind of flip-flopped it looks like. Um, and everybody else kind of held their positioning. All right, quick look at retired players. Uh, looks like Zach Parise retired. Uh, Zadino Charo finally hung him up at 45. Uh, Valtteri Filpula, who's not in the NHL, he left. Uh, Franz Nielsen. Brent Seabrook. Okay, played for the Crunch. All right, so Zach Parise is now a coach. Interesting. And Z uh, Johnny Boychuk and Zadino Chara are now both scouts. Looks like one of our coaches retired. All right, so here's a quick overview of our uh, trading block. We're just editing it before we head into the draft. So I just kind of threw on Eric Stahl and Nate Beaulieu. Uh, we do have a bunch of expiring contracts that we're going to have to deal with. Surplus, I removed everything. It's just kind of like picks uh, and things that we want. So I'm kind of looking for prospect forwards and prospect goalies. Um, I don't know if we're actually going to get offered anything, but I figured I would just throw it up there to see what happens. Okay, so we got the 32nd pick in the first round. Um, I don't, I mean, this is obviously Shane Wright's draft, so this is going to be, like, exciting to see. I think it's weird because I think the game generated a player who's potentially better than Shane Wright. So Shane Wright actually might fall to the uh, Senators, which is just kind of silly. I don't know why they do that. I th I'm, and, like, I swear we've brought it up as game changers that there should, in no instance, if there's, like, a really, really good first-round pick or projected first-round pick, that there should ever be a computer-generated player that's better than that player ever never ever never ever um so it's kind of frustrating to see that still in the game but uh yeah i don't think yeah i don't think there's anything that we need to do here so yeah this guy's gonna go first yeah and he's a franchise like that's that's insane like this isn't even a real person it's the generated prospect chemo allen uh, so Shane Wright, elite high, falls to the Ottawa Senators, so good for them. I just kind of want to do the couple for first couple picks here. Uh, Lambert, K. Okay. It's only a medium elite, eh? Uh, Leighton in. Uh, the Coyotes get Ladd? Okay, who's that? I don't know who that is. Wilson Ladd. 
Okay. Where's he from? Oh, it might be. I don't think. Is that a real player? I don't think he is. Yeah, like I just. I don't know. The with the amount of scouting and stuff that goes into like knowing potentially what the first round already looks like, the fact that there's just created random players is super annoying. Ah, uh, that's okay. Let's just do like the top ten picks, I guess. Uh, Geeky goes seventh overall. And then, yeah, I'm not going to get into, like, each pick. We'll just kind of, like, recap what we did. Uh, Zilkanen, the Oilers are up. Kavasha, I don't know. If they don't have a picture, I'm just assuming they're not real, but who knows. Uh, Jir Jirasek, okay. I'm going to go to goalies and see when they're available. Do we just... Warren Ortemeyer, eh? There's a gem here. 173rd pick, eh? Oh, this kid's sick. At least he looks really sick. 173? Okay, and then this guy is not... until 97, so that's like third round. This guy's way later, too. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I mean, goalies don't really go that high in this game. A+. plus. He didn't even play a game. What the heck? He's got... X-Factors, though. I mean, we don't have a pick till the third round. I don't know... Yeah, that's great. Let's just pick this guy. <laughs> let's just take a goalie. YOLO, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, you can't you can't even see it. Okay, what did we Oh my god, yeah, it's back here. Okay, let's see what do we get? What do we end up with? Goalie, medium, elite, 58 overall. Okay, that's fine. Hey, like I said, we wanted to get goalies, right? So goalie, I'd love to get another prospect goalie, even though I mean we're only doing five years, but whatever. Alright, 87th overall. Alright, so I'm going to take a stab on this Radislav Kaprile. He's the only player in this section that has an X-Factor. And, I mean, we kind of have, like, some information on him, so... I'm hoping he has an X-Factor. I don't really know what that looks like. Top 9 medium. I mean, it could have been worse. It's not bad. Alright, so we're picking 160, so we're going to take that goalie. That was a gem. Right here, Mika Suonen. So Sahonen? Mika Sahonen? I think that looks right. Let's take him. He's a gem. And we can't even see what he looks like. Quickly take a look here. What are we working with? Oh, this menu. A 47 overall elite medium. Okay. Alright, pick 192 now. Alright, so looking at it, I'm gonna take Connor Whitfield. Uh he put up 8 goals, 13 assists, 38 pims, and 59 games. It was a C- minus competition. Plus minus of 3, but his time on ice kind of looks good. There's not really anybody else that I can see. Alright, so top 6 forward, 2 way forward. That's not, that's not terrible. Alright, last but not least, we are closing out the draft with the very last, the 7th round pick here. Okay, so this guy's interesting. So he, I mean, he could be terrible. He, he very well could be terrible. <laughs> He's a, he's the lowest like un like very inaccurate elite. He might not be even a sniper. It's a seven round pick. You never know. What do we have to lose here? Bottom six forward. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm actually really I'm really curious to see how these goalies will be though. So they have like this guy Warren Ortemeyer has a has a superstar ability. His own ability dialed in, and then he's got extra padding, tip chart, contortionist. I mean. He could end up being really sick, actually. Uh, we have Pierre-Luc Dubois, Eric Comrie, and I think a few other people. Let's just take a quick peek here. See how slow this thing loads. It's very slow, very slow, very slow. It's actually not too bad right now. All expiring. So, uh, so yeah, we got Andrew Kopp. Pierre-Luc Dubois is apparently a top six forward low. I don't know when that happened. It's kind of weird. That doesn't seem very accurate. I feel like he's got potential still. It's a third overall pick. Uh, whatever. Uh, Paul Stasny's up. Gustafsson. Uh, oh my god. What? Oh, that's... It's the guy we traded for. I forgot, I was like, who's this guy? 82 overall, yeah. Veselainen. Yeah, so we got a few guys expiring. We're probably not gonna keep a, f a few of them. 
So I'm going to do the resign, and I'll just give you a quick overview of what we did here. Alright, so after our little uh, first day of signings, we got uh, Christian Veselainen for $1.2 million, uh, David Gustafson at .9, and Harkins at .9, Dennis Malgan, who's still shows him as a top six forward. I don't know, he's a playmaker. I mean, he didn't play a lot on the moose, but he had 30 points in 35 games, so there's still potential for him. He's 25, he's still got, he's still got some left in him, I think. And then same thing as Fetchnikov, we signed him too. Uh, a bunch of other dudes assigned. All right, so through two more days, we signed Pierre-Luc Dubois to a 3.75 million contract for two years. I think because he's had such a bad year and his potential dropped off. Uh, Paul Stastny to a 3.3 for one year. He wanted two years at 3.475. And then Eric Stahl to a 2.2. He wanted one year at 2.3. So I figured that was the way to go. Riley Nash is literally... He wants like 300k less, and he's in a 78, so I was like, let's just get Eric Stahl, he's a proven veteran. If he drops a couple overall, whatever, it's for a season, right? So, still got 8.8 .8 left, and we need to sign Andrew Kopp. Alright, we came to a contract with Andrew Kopp, 5.35 for 3 years, he wanted 4 years. Um, he's a little pricey, I, I, won't, I won't lie, but... Um, yeah, I'd like to keep him around for a little bit more. Uh, he did put up 51 points last year, so I mean he's a he's a pretty pretty decent contributor contributor uh, based on that second line performance. So it's not it's not the worst contract. And last but not least, we've signed Eric Comrie to a two-year 1.1 mil a year contract. I thought he played pretty good last year for us. Um, he was pretty solid as a backup during the season, so we're just going to keep it the same. All right, so there's a lot of big fish in free agency. Klingberg, Riley, Zadina, Forsberg, Latang, Pollock, Hurdle, uh, Lindholm. Actually, Pollock signed, so that's no longer even a thing. Um, yeah, Trochek, Perron, Yandel, there's a few, there's a few people here. Um, that are pretty pretty decent players. Took a Rask, Flurry. I mean, I don't know why. I guess he's 90 overall. That's why he's asking for that much. But uh, yeah, some good some good uh, available players. Uh, we literally only have four million cap space. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about where we're sitting. So I actually went ahead and signed this rookie goalie. He's a 69. <laughs> nice. Uh, he's 20 overall. Uh, 20, sorry, 20 years old. Garen Bjorklund. Uh, he was a sixth round pick of the Capitals in 2020. I guess they just didn't sign him. Uh, he's 6'6". Six, six. Sorry, 6'1". Six, Where did I see 6'6"? Six, six? I thought I saw that. Never mind. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to take a stab on him. Alright, so a little off-season video uh, for you. We went through the awards, some of the AHL stuff, some progression, the draft, the re-sign, and then... Uh, not a lot of action from us in the free agent uh, from the free agent side. I think we're set. We're pretty much keeping the same lineup, uh, so I don't really think we need to make any major changes. Um, again, it might be like a deadline deal potentially if we need to boost something up. We still have a little bit of cap space, uh, so if we notice any lurking um, Issues getting into the next season, we can always take a look in free agency and see if there's anybody available at that particular time. Um, or, like I, like I said, we have four mil, so like if we need to make a, a larger trade where we need to eat a little bit of cap to get a good player, uh, I think that's a possibility as well. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. And if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe. Really appreciate it. Helps the channel a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.